Welcome to the Praying Mom with PT, a prayer session designed specifically to pray for your children. Isaiah 54, 13. All your children should be taught by the Lord, and great shall be the peace of your children. Hallelujah. Good morning. We have been praying using the letters A to Z. This morning we are going to continue with the letter I. And this morning, by the Spirit of God, I've titled I, idols. Idols are things that we look to instead of God. Sometimes our children look to things rather than God that is preventing them from serving God. It could be as as, as little as gains. We want to pray concerning idols because does, God does not want us to set idols, to have idols in our heart. It is something that, that to us is more important than God. We want to pray. We be, we're going to be praying for ourselves, even as praying moms this morning. Anything that is more important to you than God is an idol. It is what seek what you seek instead of seeking God. What do you seek? What do your children seek that prevents them from seeking God? What do they seek that does not make them desire to go to church? This morning, we're going to trust them before God this morning. And we're going to be praying. So many things can be idols in our life. This morning, we're going to pray for our teens. We're going to pray even for the young adults, even for the, even for the children, the young ones. We're going to pray that every idol in their heart, Jehovah will remove move in the name of Jesus pray with me this morning help my children to be able to put away idols oh God in their lives in the name of Jesus help them to always love God first in the name of Jesus Masha Tutaliga Bible says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you you want to pray with me this morning that my children and my grandchildren will seek God first in the name of Jesus Pray with me. Resa tua tu lekua suka liga lekebo shotori gabu sekuka liende. I this morning is for idols. Any idol in my household this morning, I remove in our lives and in my household. In the name of Jesus. Rekabo sotolika rakia kuka liga rekebo shatu talida. This morning I declare that God is first in my family. God is first in the lives of my children. God is first in the lives of my grandchildren. God is first in my life this morning. In the name of Jesus, pray with me. Resa tua tu, rakabosha ku kaliga. Resa tu taliga. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 17 to 18. Bible says, then Christ will make his home in your heart. You want to pray. Jehovah, make your home in the hearts of my children. Make your home in the hearts of my grandchildren. Make your home in the heart of every man member of my household in the name of Jesus. Bible says, as you trust in him, give me the strength to be able to trust you. Give my children and my grandchildren strength, desire to trust you in the name of Jesus, trusting you at all times in the name of Jesus. Bible says your roots will grow down in God's love and keep you strong. Let our roots go down in God's word in the name of Jesus. God's love in the name of Jesus. Let my children, oh God, desire to be in the presence of God. Anything that might be hindering my children, oh God, from, from wanting to go to God's house, this morning I pray that it shall be removed. In the name of Jesus, I pray such idols be removed in the lives of my children. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the fresh start concerning my children's Christian life. In the name of Jesus, touch their hearts. In the name of Jesus, resa tua tu kaliga. Pray with me this morning. Masa kukaliga, rekebo sheteriande, rakabisa kukaliga. Bible says, and may you have the power to understand. You want to pray with me this morning? Power to be able to understand the word of God. Power to be able to understand the love of God. Give unto my children, give unto my grandchildren. Let every idol be 
be trashed out from their lives, from their minds, in the name of Jesus. As all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep his love is. Come on, you want to pray. Give my children understanding to understand the love of God, the depth of the love of God concerning them. In the name of Jesus, J. J this morning is for Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Shalom means the Lord is peace. Yahweh is peace. The Lord send peace. Send your peace into the lives of my children. In the name of Jesus, let them be calm. In the name of Jesus, peace. No matter how young your child is or how old your child is, this morning you want to declare the peace of God. Let them be peace. I speak into the destiny of my children, peace. In the name of Jesus, I speak into the life of my son, peace. Peace on your body. In the name of Jesus, experience peace. Every part of your body. In the name of Jesus, nothing missing, nothing broken. Let the peace of God rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, let the peace of God bring healing into your life. Let the peace of God bring promotion into your life. In the name of Jesus, let the peace of God bring calmness into your body, into your system. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Jehovah Shalom, peace. The God of peace is in your home this morning, ready to bring you peace. Peace to every storm in the lives of my children and my grandchildren. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Master two or two. Rekeboshi Kaliga, Rasi Kaliga, Judges chapter 6, verse 24. Bible says, And Gideon built an altar to the Lord and named it Jehovah Sh- Yahweh Shalom. The Lord is peace. Psalm 29, verse 11. Bible says, The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. This morning I pray, Lord, give my children and my grandchildren strength in the name of Jesus. Let them experience strength in every part of their body. In the name of Jesus, if there be any of them sick, this morning I call upon you, God, the one that never fails, the one that has the power to heal and to restore. I ask, oh God, give strength to every part of their body, every bone, every blood, every vessel, give strength. In the name of Jesus, let them receive strength, bless them with peace, let them experience peace in their health, in the name of Jesus. Let them experience the peace of God in their career, the peace of God in their relationship. Those of them that are married, let them experience the peace of God. In the name of Jesus, peace of God in their jobs, their businesses. My grandchildren will experience peace. In the name of Jesus, Psalm 85 verse 8, Bible says, I listen careful to what God, what the Lord is saying, for he speaks peace to these faithful people. Speak peace, O God, into my home this morning. Let my children be faithful. Find them faithful in the things that you have assigned them to do. Find me faithful, O God, as a prayer mom in the things that you have called me to do and let me experience your peace. Pray with me this morning. Resa to a two kaliga. Masa kukaliga rekeboso toriande. Psalm 34 verse 14. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Let my children turn away from evil at all times. Let them always seek peace. Let them always pursue peace. In the name of Jesus, pray with me this morning. Resa tua tu rakabisa tu taliga. Anywhere my my children find themselves, let them run for from anything that represents sent evil. In the name of Jesus, pray with me. Rekebo lukalusa tu raki aku kalianda, rakabisa tu taliande, leku ashu kaliga, lekemisa tu atu, rekemia so tolianga, rakabisa ku kaliga. My children and my grandchildren will shun evil at all times. They will pursue peace. In the name of Jesus, rekebo so toliande. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 12. Bible says, O Lord, Lord, you will establish peace for us. Concerning my home, Lord, I pray this morning, establish peace for us. In the name of Jesus, Rekebo Sotoriande, concerning my children's business, concerning my business, concerning my career, concerning my relationship, concerning, oh God, my marriage, you want to pray, establish your peace, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus, Rekebo Sotoriande, 
Masa Kukaliande. Bible says, for all that we have accomplished, you have done for us. Father, I thank you. I acknowledge, oh God, that all that I have accomplished in life, you have done for me. I give you praise. I'm thankful, Lord. I'm grateful. I have a heart, oh God, that is full of gratitude towards you this morning. I'm grateful concerning my children. I'm grateful. Concerning my grandchildren, I'm grateful. Come on, you want to say thank you, Jesus, for that which you have done in the life of my son this morning, this very hour. I thank you. I give you praise for that which you have done in the life of my daughter this very hour. I exalt your name. Thank you for my grandchildren, oh God. Thank you for the gift of children. I give you praise oh, in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining Pastor Tayo Alumakin. This podcast is brought to you from Prayer and Liberation Ministries. For godly counseling and prayers for your relationships and children, you can contact PT on dpmum at iprayerandliberation.site. For more prayers for your children like this, subscribe and follow us on our YouTube channel, iPalm Ministry. If you do not receive this podcast directly from PT and you would love to, We have a WhatsApp group for the Praying Mom with PT. Please email us to get the invite link to the group. Connect with us on Instagram or Facebook. Hashtag the Praying Mom with PT. If this podcast has been a blessing to you, please share with someone. God bless you and bye for now.